It's time once again for another showdown. We've got Trish Stratus in China, Mankind, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel Showdown 2-Pack unboxing and review. And today we've got China and Trish Stratus, Mankind and Stone Cold Steve Austin. But remember, for all your Mattel wrestling figure needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So Showdown Packs are at the table again today. Not a big showdown guy, not a big basics guy. I dabble, first time in the line, certain people, some legends... But today, I'll tell you what, I was planning on possibly picking this one up for the Trish and the China. I felt like there was enough meat on the old bone for old Kyle to pick that one up. Mankind Stone Cold, I said, I really don't need this. But then, as you guys have seen, cheap plug for my Friday action figure hunt videos, and of course, weekly purchases every Saturday, I ended up picking these up, and I picked up a lot of these. As my local Walmart, for whatever reason, discounted all their showdown two-packs down to $5. Uh, me and old good buddy of the channel, David C. Anderson out there, we went, we picked up every single one they had. We're going to donate them to Toys for Tots, but I said, you know what, five bucks, I'm going to take a couple of these for me. I'm going to unbox them, review them. Normally, I'd say I'd let the kids play with some of these, and we'll see if that ends up bringing true or not. But I thought, these were cool enough, I'll buy these for five dollars. The rest will donate, and yeah, that's the way that went. Uh, maybe you were that lucky too, who knows. But we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it, and we'll see where it goes from there. We're going to start it off with the ladies, because you know what they say, ladies first. I'm a gentleman out there, a Midwest gentleman, if some might say. But here, let's take a look. Trish Stratus, China, with Showdown 2-pack, glamour shots down below, uh, pictures, of course, and then, of course, you got the figures in there, WWE logo at the top, Showdown plates. Yeah, those plates, we all know they're for little kids. Put them on the title belts. They also do double as a stand. The problem is the stands are way too big. But I like what Mattel was trying to do there. A little two-in-one action. So it is what it is. Uh, then the back, you got China, you got Trish Stratus, you got here's how the plates work, you got the cross sell down there, Davy Boy Smith, Big Boss Man, we unboxed that on the channel a while back. That was one of those ones I had to have, of course. Then you got Stone Cold and Mankind right there. And then warnings, UPCs, all that kind of fun stuff down below. But let's get down to it. Let's unbox it. Let's see what's going on. And let's compare it to the latest China and Trish Stratus figures besides these. Why don't, why don't we? Why don't we? Let's do it. Get these out. Let's see. See you later. You got the cool little showdown card. Heading for a showdown, Jeff Lynn told me. And you got Trish Stratus in China, a ninth wonder of the world. I mean, cool for what it is, but not for your old Kyle. See you later. See you later. Bam, there it goes. Plastic prison time. It looks funny with China next to Trish. Look at Trish's up taller in the package there. It just kind of looks funny. But I like this China. This China works for me. And I think this uh, could double as Latino Heat China, if I'm not mistaken. At least that's where I'll probably put her. I think I might put her against that Hall of Fame Eddie Guerrero figure. And then this Trish Stratus, uh, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. See you later. I'm going to see Trish Stratus this July, July 2022, Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame, Waterloo, Iowa. Uh, make sure you go there in July. Get your tickets now. You can even sit by me if you're lucky. Come on up to the show. Uh, but let's look at Trish first. Now, this Trish, I do, I'm not going to say I like it, but I like this head sculpt, head scan. We had this on the WrestleMania Basic maybe three years ago. So they've gotten use out of this. We've seen it in Elites in the past. Uh, it is way better than the current elite Trish Stratus head, which I do have. Well, first, here's that basic I was talking about, the Canadian basic going on right there. Same exact head going on. Uh, I like it. I, I think this is fine for Trish. I know it's not true effects, so I know some people, uh, yeah, true effects, I think you either love it or you hate it, and rarely in the middle. That's me at least. But uh, here's that Trish, the new elite Trish, which is just unfortunately god awful possibly the worst figure of the year for wrestling figures this could be it unfortunately and it's a chase too so it's a double whammy uh, but i know some people out there are popping this head off and putting this head because hey you can get this trish head pretty cheap 
pop this over and voila, you got something a little bit more fresh, more new, something like that. Uh, but it is a basic figure. There's no extra hands or anything like that. You got the knee articulation, the knees move. You got the boots that move around. Uh, the, the legs move side to side, kind of. You got the waist, the head moves. Elbows, fists move, and that's about it. There's not a lot of bells and whistles with these basics. But a lot of time, these females, are, that's all they get is basic figures. And it's passable enough on this Trish. Like I said, I do like this head sculpt on this Trish way better than the Elite one. So some of you guys might want to play that long game. And you might be able to get this Trish fairly cheap somewhere along the lines and swap the heads. I'm such a purist, I have trouble doing that. But I really should. It makes sense because I don't really need this Trish Stratus. But I could use this head there. Uh, it's just, just a mind boggler sometimes. But that's probably a good idea if you're out there thinking about doing that. And you might be able to find it on clearance too if you're lucky out there. But the Trish... Trish is the Trish. We'll call it that. But how about China? Like I said, this is Latino Heat China. I like the looks of this China. It looks fine to me. It is very good, actually. I, this is a fine China. This is the reason to really buy this pack. Uh, she's got her kind of smoky gray gear going on. Got all these little circles there on her trunks. Uh, she's got the boot articulation, of course, side to side. She's got the knees, very stiff knee joints. But she does have them, the waist, all that kind of stuff. But it looks like China. It is China. Uh, the last China we've had, one of the peg warmers of the year, I'm sure, especially if you're a Target shopper, uh, is the WrestleMania Elite China. Everybody said they want China, but they're not proving that with their wallet from where I'm sitting, which, as we all know, is right here. Uh, it's always a business at the end of the day, and there's a lot of people online. And social media is the worst for some things. The hardcore of the hardcore fans are complaining. Truly the vocal minority, as we all know, myself included. Not that I'm complaining, but I am in the minority, like a lot of you guys probably watching this, to the average people that buy these figures. In China, everybody's saying, I want China, I want China, but then she's everywhere on the peg. So where's the disconnect there? There's people that said they wanted her that probably never picked her up, most likely, or only the hardcores picked her up, and the average Joe out there, the average kid, did not. So that, that could be part of the issue there. But this is the China Elite. Not a ton of differences on these two, actually. Uh, as far as articulation-wise goes, obviously the um, hands and stuff are removable on this China. And then uh, you do have the thigh cut and the bicep cut on here, but not a ton of differences. I mean, it's a lot of reuse. It's the same exact head and hair. Yeah, it is. And this one feels, the new basic feels a little bit more bulky. It feels almost like it's in between her here and the uh, DX Elite we got previously. But I like this. I think this is a good China. I think this is a China you need. We obviously need that DX uh, WCW Invasion China that's coming to the Hall of Fame series. Uh, but after that, I don't know. How many more Chinas do we need? I can't really think of any more that I really, really want. Uh, you kind of got her main main event China thing going on here. This could be the Eddie Guerrero time frame. We got the old, the original uh, Degeneration X one. Then we got the WCW DX one. I think that's really all the China figures we really need at the end of the day. But this one is very solid, very solid. Not too far off from this Elite, really. Uh, it almost comes down to which color do you like and which variety. And for me, this was worth buying the pack. Five bucks, I couldn't go wrong for either of them, but uh, this was worth it for me right there. So we got this China, and I'll put her on this stand, because why not? Why not? I'll throw her on there. There she is. Old China. So looking good, looking good. I like that pack. Both packs. It's worth five bucks. I can't, I can't say it's not. But let's take a look at old Stone Cold and Mankind. There they are. Same kind of thing. Got the glamour shots down below. Figures in the package. WWE logo. You got the stands going on. On the back. A lot of fun, of course. There it is. You got the cross sell between the two going on there. And then uh, glamour shots and all that. Let's see what it says about old mankind and Stone Cold. August 22nd, two, uh, 2001. I can't read. August 22nd, 1999. The WWE Championship picture had never been more competitive than the Attitude Era. By SummerSlam 1999, Stone Cold Steve Austin didn't just have Triple H to contend with, but former, but former champion Mankind as well. The Texas rattlesnake in the game proved why they were championship material, but in the end, the deranged Mankind raised his arm in victory. He sure did. He sure did. Always go through the bottom of these basics. I always find that to be pretty much the easiest way to go. Like I said, I wasn't planning on picking up this set. See you later. But five bucks, I could not pass it up. Uh, Stone Cold plate, Mankind plate, cool enough, just not for me. But they also double as a stand, as you know. Great for little kids, though. See you later. See you later. Bam, bam. There it goes. Plastic prison time. Stone Cold Steve Austin. This Stone Cold would be the perfect figure for my kids to have if they played, but they don't, so I won't. I don't know what I'll do with him. Stick him in an audience or something like that. 
Can I pull Mankind out? Will he come out? Ugh, they got these guys in there tight. There it is. See you later. Whoa, off the screen. Oh, man, watch out. Watch out. Making a mess. All right, so Stone Cold here, not really a lot to talk about. Out of the four figures, this is the worst one that we're looking at here. It's just a basic. It's a basic Stone Cold, black, plain, got knee braces. Not bad if you maybe need knee braces for somebody else. You could maybe swap these off of here. But as far as Stone Colds go, we've gotten enough version of Elites and Basics in the past. I don't know if there's a lot for people here. Maybe there is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but for me... It's just Stone Cold. It is what it is. Pretty plain Jane. Nothing too fun. So I'm just going to stick here. There's not a lot to talk about that figure. But the Mankind one is interesting. As Mankind has been released like this in the past, but fairly hard to get. There was an Amazon exclusive version. There was an Elite. There's been a few different Mankinds. And of course, Cactus Jack's dude loves. But this version, I think for a lot of people that maybe missed the prior Elites, prior versions here, this is a slam dunk. And I, I forgot, we just got a recent one in the Blue Sweatpants and the Rock 2-pack in the Elite line. But this one is actually pretty good, and it's a lot of reuse going on. Uh, you get uh, the same really body we've had with some of the elites. You get the mask that is removable. That is a cool feature. I just grabbed the first one I saw, and it's basically almost the exact same thing. It might even be pretty close. Uh, but this is another Mankind. He does have double-jointed knees. This is single. Uh, a little bit more. This is plain sneakers. These kind of grunged-up sneakers a little bit. Uh, but same mask going on different faces and this is more true effects on this new one which i'm not a huge true effects guy anymore i, I like sometimes but boy it seems like uh, more often than not we've had some struggles as of late uh, but this is cool and i think this does uh work if you need a mankind like this and you don't have the prior elites which are obviously going to be more money this isn't a bad substitute i think this is a good one uh for people that missed out and stuff like that i think that's fair and uh, that's where i'd go with this mankind I got no problems putting this in my collection. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to display this differently. I think I might take the mask off him and just have him like this. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with it because if I'm going to display it, it has to be different. I have to do something a little different than this one. And then we have another one just like this with a, kind of the have a nice day tie that's not a whole lot different as well. So we've seen this a few times. This is definitely the basic version, but in a pinch really could work for some of you collectors that missed out and stuff in the past as we know the mattel line's going over 10 years now there's a ton of new collectors new kids you know double three turns over on ch kids buying toys as as kids so it's a crazy line to think 10 years is a long time for a toy line so a lot of people did miss out on this and now's their chance for another mankind at least this version out there but if I had to say which ones I like best, I'm going to put this China number one, and then I'm going to go Mankind number two, Trish number three, Stone Cold last. There's just not a lot to that Stone Cold, but it's perfect for a kid that's playing that needs a Stone Cold for sure. But what say you guys in the comments down below? Uh, I'm guessing a lot of you guys probably passed on these, but they're always interesting to look at. But let me know your thoughts, uh, if you have any, on these showdown packs. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. If you like what you're seeing, support the channel. Go to ProWrestlingTees. Pick up a t-shirt. Search Kyle Peterson. So there you go for another showdown pack unboxing. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.